So in this video, we're going to go ahead and determine what is the direction of the magnetic field in this solenoid, okay? So uh, when we saw, well, when we talk about solenoids, right, we can determine the strength of the magnetic field, which I'll talk about later, but we can also determine which way the magnetic field is going to point. So here is our battery, right? You notice the current's going out of this way through this wire, going into the solenoid like this, goes through all the loops, and then comes out this way, touches the negative end. So it's out of the positive end into the negative end, okay? We're going to go ahead and touch it with this compass. We're going to touch the battery to this negative end, and we're going to see which way the compass is pointing. Oh, see, it goes straight through the entire solenoid, going all the way like this. So we know my magnetic field is left. Okay, now if you check out with the right hand rule, that does make sense. It's considered the bottom portion of this wire here, right? If the current goes through it, your fingers point this way, then you go around, and you notice your fingers are still pointing this way, and you notice your, as you keep going through every portion of the bottom and then the top, your fingers are all still pointing this way, the same way we have for just one loop of wire. Okay, but there should be an easier way to do it, and we actually do have that. This is, brings us to the solenoid right-hand rule. So that's the solenoid right-hand rule. And basically what's going to happen is that instead of going ahead and just doing this for every part of the loop, we're going to go ahead and flip things. So in this one, your fingers are going to be the coils, okay? Coils with the current. Okay, and then your thumb for this one is going to be the magnetic field. So in other words, it's different. You know how you grasp a wire last time. This time we're gonna grasp the entire solenoid and we're gonna be sure that our fingers are following the current. So notice my under part of my fingers being, being grasping the direction that the current is going in every coil. And my thumb is going to be pointing the direction of the magnetic field like this. So notice I'm still grasping the entire thing. This time my fingers represent the current and all those coils. Okay. And the direction that the current's going in. And then my thumb is a magnetic field. And that's the last right hand rule for this class.